Hello everyone, I'm uh, George from Ireland, this is the British Poesy Channel, so I'm about to, uh, to claim a poem by an Irish poet, Percy French, who's not very well known anymore, um, better known as a songwriter, and I think this one has been um, set to music since. Uh, so this is a very fun, slightly cheeky, not terribly serious poem that I first heard when I was about eight at a declamation competition when I was at school. Um, it's been used for, as, as an advertising jingle, some advert for beer in the 80s that Stephen Fry took part in. Right, that's enough ado. Um, here we go. Abdul Abulbul Amir by Percy French. The sons of the prophet are brave and bold and quite unaccustomed to fear. But the bravest by far in the ranks of the Shah was Abdul Abulbul Amir. If you wanted a man to encourage the van or harass the foe from the rear, storm fort or redoubt, you only had to shout for Abdul Abulbul Amir. Now, heroes up were plenty and well known to fame in the troops that were led by the Tsar. And the bravest of these was a man by the name of Ivan Skavinsky Skavar. One day, this bold Russian, he shouldered his gun and donned his most truculent sneer. Down, uh, downtown he did go and trod on the toe of Abdul Abulbul Amir. Young man, quoth Abdul, has life grown so dull that you wish to end your career? Vile infidel, no, you trod on the toe of Abdul Abulbul Amir. So take your last look at the sunshine and brook and send your regrets to the Tsar. For by this I imply you're going to die, Count Ivan Skavinsky Skavar. Then this bold Mameluk, he drew his uh, trusty Skibuk, singing Allah, Allah, Allah. And with murderous intent, he ferociously went for Ivan Skavinsky Skavar. They parried and thrust, they sidestepped and cussed, of blood they spilled a great part. The philologist blokes, who seldom crack jokes, say the hash was first made on the spot. They fought all night neath the pale yellow moon, and the din it was heard from afar, and huge multitudes came, so great was the fame of Abd Abdul Abulbul Amir, um, of Abdul and Ivan Skavar. As Abdul's long knife was extracting the life, in fact he was shouting, Huzzah! He felt himself struck by that wily Kalmuk, Ivan Skavinsky Skavar. The Sultan drove by in his red-breasted fly, expecting the victor to cheer. But he only drew nigh to hear the last sigh of Abdul Abulbul Amir. There rises a tomb up where the blue Danube rolls, and graved there in, in characters clear, is stranger when passing, O oh, pray for the soul of Abdul Abulbul Amir. A splash in the Black Sea, one dark moonless night, caused ripples to spread wide and far. It was made by a sack fitting close to the back of Ivan Skavinsky Skavar. A Muscovite maiden her lone vigil keeps neath the light of the cold northern star, and the name she murmurs in vain as she weeps is Ivan Skavinsky Skavar. So I shan't ever forget uh, hearing John Hoistler declaim, declaim that one uh, when I was little. Um, and I hadn't read it for absolutely years and happened to be dipping into Stephen Fry's memoirs as at Moab was my wash pot, in which he uh, uh, mentioned this one in passing as, as, as the tune for that advert he was in years ago. Uh, and I looked it up. So Percy French was a 19th century um, Irish uh, uh, librettist and uh, poet. So widely appreciated at the time, but his work's not um, enjoyed very much anymore. Um, so this is a light-hearted piece, two fictional characters. Um, so Abdul Abubal Amir, is he the Shah, as in Shah of Iran, or from the Ottoman Empire? It's not very historically accurate. It doesn't need to be. Shah being the ruler of Iran. And of course, the Turks were well into Europe, besieged Vienna in, in, in the 1680s. That's when the, when the Turks were, were defeated. The Viennese celebrated by making special pastries in the shape of a crescent, because the crescent moon sister symbol of Islam the Ottomans have been using, and they invented the cross, the 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 the, the croissant, the French got it and called it a crescent croissant, 
or this type of Viennoiserie, as in from Vienna. And there's this um, Russian character, Ivan Skavinsky Skavar, but I've never heard a Russian surname that ends in R like that. It'd be Ov, Yev, or possibly In, but never R. Uh, so, got it slightly wrong, but this is poetic license there. Um, so, uh, and then they mentioned some sort of uh, knife he was using, a skibuk, I don't know, and the Kalmuk. Kalmuk are Buddhist people from the northern shore of the Caspian Sea. So, he could be a Russian subject who is from there. Hussar, as in a bit like hurrah. Is that why he's saying it? But Russians pronounce it ura, but not hussar. Um, so that's that. This um, titanic clash between them that went on all night. And um, who died? It was uh, Abdul Abul Amir at the end, I think. So that is enough from that uh, poem by Percy French. Toodaloo.